let's go ahead and start. Thank you. Um, from this class, I've been able to take a deeper dive into the expansive and long history of Eritrea, its people, and its liberation. It has been incredibly interesting and inspiring to really delve into the collective effort of women and men in the war. I felt proud and inspired by the many educational and protective efforts of Eritrean soldiers and even volunteers to help the innocent people of Eritrea. Learning more about this gave me an even deeper appreciation for the men and women who fought for my parents, um, aunts, cousins, grandparents, friends, and their future children. Me. Well, he didn't fight, but <laughs> for the, those who did. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I found you. it really interesting to learn about um, the collective effort of both men and women because I didn't really uh, know that much about how much women did in the war. And, you know, I didn't realize how progressive we were before everybody else. Um, so, yeah, that was really interesting to learn about. Thank you. I hope, I hope you will take that into your college life and uh, spread the wealth, the wealth of knowledge of Eritrea and Eritrean women. All right, well, you. thank you so much. I really appreciate you put all this time into it and really appreciate it. Uh, no you were helping us. So thank you so much for that. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Okay. Thank you, Sarah. Fantastic. Uh, we have a video, a video that, uh, 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 let's see, uh, let, me, let me download the video or actually let me try to share it uh, or should I download it first? Let me, uh, there we go. I think I can do this. I can maximize it. Yes, there we go. Give me one second. Here we go. We have a video from Janet and I will share my screen and uh, we will see what Janet has to say uh, about the class. By the way, for those, for the parents, this is not my program. I asked them on last week, I let them have the class on their own and they decided how they want to close the event. So this is their program. They planned it and they are executing their plan. So it's all them. No one should take any credit for uh, their, uh, their, act, their deeds. So give me one second, let me share uh, optimize video and this and share. Salam, Shimei Yanit Samsunyu, I'm McLean Virginia Yanabe. Throughout the duration of our Eritrean language and culture class, I have learned a culmination of vital Eritrean events, holidays, victories along with losses, and as well as our society. Today, I will be highlighting Operation Thunko because of the impact that it left on me when I learned about it in Adal school. Thunko means to rip something out of its roots so that it shall never grow again. This meaning holds symbolic value to the operation as a whole. The 30-year war for Eritrea's independence demonstrates that strategic success cannot be achieved by military force alone. Defeating an opponent militarily is not identical to achieving the object of war. The victory of Fengkel operation consists of not only overcoming the enemy forces, but it also includes the attainment of the objective for which the liberation struggle was waged, the liberation of Eritrea. Fengkel operation that that saw the liberation of Masawa had great strategic meaning. Masawa is a natural port in the Red Sea and one of the international ports of Eritrea. The natural beauty of Masawa has motivated others to name it the Pearl of the Red Sea. Masawa was the main channel through which the arms, ammunition, and other military logistics of the Derg were shipped, disembarked, and then transported to the interior. The continuation of the Derg and its colonial army in Eritrea was associated with the continuous occupation of Masawa and control of the Masawa Asmara Road. So the spectacular victory of Fenko operation was a strategic defeat that effectively challenged the power of the Derg in general and its colonial army in Eritrea in particular. Before I sign off, 
I would like to thank all the teachers that take the time out of their busy schedules to teach us some of the most important lessons that we will ever learn in life every weekend. To Memher Dawit, the things you have taught me will walk with me throughout the future stages of my life. So I thank you. There we go. Tom Waladi comes through or alone. Cabs the abbots are my yellow. Is it a few? Is a half few? Zom call or hams at Zurzum Holla Zi Zurzum Holla Hagen. Cabs the abbey aggregate yellow. More this. Thank you so much. I was telling the parents there is nothing more satisfying in life than seeing. A small contribution you uh, uh, you do into someone's life, and actually seeing them grow, and this is the result. So thank you so much. So who do we have next? Takes from here. All right, I will pick on uh, Nathan then. And Nati, can you open your video, please? Go ahead, Nathan. So I think that this class was really helpful for like teaching us about different things of our Eritrean culture. And the most interesting things that like, in my opinion, that we learned about in this class are the struggle and perseverance that Eritrea went through, especially when like they had to leave their families behind and like strive for a greater meaning in the future, even though it wasn't guaranteed like to win the war, they still took a chance and they like they persevered through their family. I mean, persevered through it and left their families behind and sacrificed everything for us. And I really uh, appreciate what you and the other teachers have done for us, taking time out of your day to teach us as well. So thank you. Thank you, Nathani. Uh, Timnite. Um, my favorite part of the adult, adult language and culture class was the video called 10 Things That We Didn't Know about Eritrea. The video contained facts such as how Eritrea had the second highest archeological discoveries other than Egypt, how Eritrea was the 10th strongest currency, had the 10th strongest currency in Africa, and that 17% of the 100 types of fish in Eritrea are not found anywhere else in the world. These were all the facts that I found very interesting and probably wouldn't have learned them if it wasn't for this class. This was one of my favorite videos from this class, but there were always other videos that we watched that were both informative and interesting. I was able to learn about multiple subjects from the fun facts to the history of our country and the struggle. Overall, I found the whole class to be educational, especially the videos, and helped me become better prepared to publicly speak about Eritrea. I also wanted to thank Memher Dawit for scheduling his day around this class and making sure that we always learned about different aspects of Eritrea. Thank you, thank you so much, Timnitei. Uh, let's see, Matthew. Okay, so this year I learned a lot about the, a lot in Adal High School class, uh, and we learned a lot about the history and culture of Eritrea. But what was the most interesting to me was Nakra Island and the multiple Nakra prison breaks when when the Italians were colonizing Eritrea. Probably, probably the probably the the one that stood out to me the most was when was I believe in nineteen, not uh, not nineteen, uh, sixteen seventy nine, when 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 uh oh yeah so when so when so when uh, so what so 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 yeah so they they were in Nakura prison Nakura prison island and and they were and. And so the guards. Let me help out. you with the date. Sunday. It was Sunday, November 12th, 1890. Yes, yeah, Sunday, November 12th, 1890. So 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 29, so 29 prisoners and four armed guards. I'm sorry, 1899, my fault. 1899, right? Yeah. Okay, so right. Yeah, so Sunday, 1899. So 29 November 12th. Mm -hmm. November 12th. 29 prisoners and four and four armed guards were taken to a, a nearby well to get water. And 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 four of the prisoners uh, just start, started 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 making a commotion, started just fighting and ran away. The four two of the guards chased them, and 
once they got to the four prisoners, the four prisoners attacked them. They assaulted the guards. And soon later they realized that it was a it was a whole trick. It was a plan to for for multiple for a hundred of the prisoners to escape to escape from the island. And yeah, that was that was really, really important for me. Thank you. And and I also also want to say that I really I really liked the adult adult agreement class and it was it was really 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 different for me especially different from adult middle school because we because there were there was there wasn't much there wasn't much more uh, action and more more looking more looking at the more looking at history through direct evidence and more like more discussions so thank you Doug. You're welcome. Thank you, Matthew. And those who want to read more about Nakura, I will uh, put a chat. I will put uh, a link on the chat. Uh, that fateful day, Sunday, November 12, 1899, where 100, uh, around 119 Eritrean heroes from all nationalities, from all cultures, they broke out of Nakura and as far as I could tell, that is the first, uh, the most, the strongest resistance Eritreans in an organized manner uh, waged against colonization. And that fateful day, because of that day, generations were able to continue the resistance against the Italians, the Brits, the Ethiopians, and eventually gain independence on May 24, 1991. And that was Friday, Friday, May 24, 1991. So uh, we discussed about Nakura a lot because the prison is situated underground and it was more than 50 miles away from mainland. It was very difficult to get out. The idea was to bury Eritrea under the water forever and to bury any type of resistance forever. But thanks to the heroes who were able to break out of Nakura, they eventually were able to uh, continue the struggle. Thank you, Matthew. And uh, Sunita. Hi. Hi, Sunit. A little louder, Sinitei. Um, okay. Um, Volume. Mm -hmm. um, is this better? Much better. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So I want to talk about a few things that we did in this class that really um, helped me understand Eritrea's history more. So I'm sure I've said this before, but the videos that we watch both helped me learn better through the format of them being videos and the content provided in them were really, was really like informative. Even the few videos that we watched in Togenia were helpful because even though I couldn't understand all of it, it helped me pick up more words and expand my vocabulary through the context that we were given. Um, uh, also, the project that also helped me learn more about Eritrea because it prompted me to do my own research and make a video about um, the Nakura prison as we just talked about. Um, so this class also taught me more about Eritrea than what I've been told in the past, just about the independence. But in this class, we talked more about Eritrea today and also things like the agriculture and the ethnic groups. Um, we've also went beyond just history of Eritrea and Eritrea related topics, but also talked about important current events like COVID and the importance of staying safe in these times. Um, but most of this wouldn't have been able to be possible if you weren't such a if you weren't like such a good teacher, because you also helped us with your own person by telling us about your own information and personal experiences, and that also really helps. So thank you. Wow! And what grade are you in, Sunita? Um, I'm going to ten next year. You see, you are a lot smarter than uh, even when I graduated from college. You are a lot smarter than a lot of people, even <laughs> above and beyond college, with uh, more than college degrees. So thank you. And it has been a pleasure to have you. And I will, I'm will. i sure we will have more fun next year as well, because we still have a couple of more years together, right? Yeah. 
You're coming back next year, right, Sunit? There we go. Fantastic. Hi, Nati. Hello. Can you turn on your video, please? My video is on. Okay, go ahead. Um, I'm sorry my parents couldn't be here. They got they got they had to do something, so you we have you, so that's great. Yeah. <laughs> um so there was many interesting things we learned in class, but first I would like to say thank you to you, member Dawit, for taking your time off from your weekends to support this class. And yeah, and uh, although they're not here, thank you to all the guests that have been here that have showed us something like the doctor, I think it was, the two yes. doctors. Yes, so two yeah. doctors, husband and wife, Samhar uh -huh. and Yonatan, Dr. Samhar, Dr. Yonatan, yes. Yeah, thank you to those two as well. Um, there was many things we learned in class, but there was one thing in particular that really stood out to me. Um, someone else mentioned this in class just now. Um, it was the video about 10 interesting things about Edita. And the one thing that stood out the most was Edita's name. Um, did you know the name Edita is based on the Red Sea Greek name? And it was first adopted in 1890 when the Italian Eritrea was first established. The country's name is associated with the region's past name, Erythreus, which relates to the Red Sea's ancient Greek name, Erythian Sea. Even during the Ethiopia and British occupation, the name stuck around. The name Eritrea was reaffirmed by the country's, by the country's independence referendum in 1993. This is one of the many things that stood out to me. It was, it just showed how unique our name was in relating to a sea that was right next to us. But overall, this was a unique class and I learned so much about Edita than I originally thought. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, uh, Nati. Uh, always a pleasure to have you and uh, you will be with us next year as well. So that's fantastic. Uh, let's see. The wonderful Ruth. Um, hi, so um, in this year's Adal class, we focused on Eritrean history and culture. And something that we learned that was the most interesting to me in this class was about the referendum. So the referendum was the voting process on whether Eritrea would become a sovereign state. And voting was held from April 23rd through April 25th on 1993. 98% of Eritreans voted for independence, and of that 98, 99% of them voted for Eritrea to become free. On, April, yeah, on April 27th, 1993, it was official that Eritrea would become a sovereign state. And this was the most interesting to me because it showed that Eritreans wanted to be independent. Thank you to Memher Dawi and everyone behind the scenes who work hard to keep our school going. And I had a great year, and I'm excited for next year. Thank, thank you, you, thank you, Ruth. Yes, uh, we will have, by the way, Ruth is eighth grade, so we'll have another four years with Ruth, so it's gonna be fun. Uh, thank you again to the students, and now we can open it to parents. Uh, we can start with uh, Amanil or Daniel, uh, Petros, uh, Mona. Member Dawit. Yes, Member Pedros. But but I'm but I'm in a misgunaka. Ti anehna part in middle school can work well and at least Kalito in Nandina and Mer, not Hagazna. Up to Natagan Bain Hakunka to Hagazi will come. Gizaha Hulma at the Tisatat come on the schedule or not at Kumsini or to lace in the protect the ballot in there. Buzah Nagarat up even the Paris Kaha Buzah Nagara Paris can not go. Gizahaso, we can up time in Anamasinacana. We really appreciate it. Uzanagar Kazamarne Nagaralo, Anaman Kaftum Tamaharati, Tami Tamahere, after middle school, the low Marti. They are very amazing. Sahani, Bogan Kahabahao, Buzi Hatamahere, to Kulunagar to go Brosini, the Hal activity to go Brot voluntary. Tra Abzitra Jekonas Abuzah Nagareha, Naganahani to Tom's Om Sabat, come Abinet, Buzah Nagar Kawatatums. Maharina. I just put Tami Agadasi within the last two weeks in Avaraheji, Mizia Nazi Atom Edme, Miss Atatum, the Mat Atom Selezuan of the Atta Avium, 
ተወሊዶም አብት ደረጃ ድወጽሖ እንታይ እንታይ ከምዚህ ጎብሩ ዝሁሉ ነገር ስኒ በጣም ይኻ ተጎብሮ ዘላ ሀስቀል ነገር አይኮነን ነዚያቱ በጣም ኤክሳይዝ ጎር ፎሎ ማልካ ማለትና ቴንክ ዩ ሶ ማች ኖ ቴንክ ዩ ሞሞር ፔትሮስ ኖ ቴንክ ዩ ቴንክ ዩ ማሚ ፔትሮስ ኢዝ አወር ቲቸር ፎር ዘ ሚድል ስኩል ሶ ዳት አዘርስ አልሶ ኖ ኤንድ again uh the satisfaction you see the results maybe petros the same thing with the oh. school so thank you uh mona yeah all right go ahead marhaba sorry i'm not uh, going to add any more than what he said um uh, the, uh not only the time the um, effort it takes a lot we have two three kids we cannot handle them and what you've been doing is uh, just uh, uh, amazing i don't know how you do it but uh, very commanding not only the culture the politics um uh, everything else that comes with it the kids been learning she's been going through books uh, uh, yes yeah, she's been busy at the same time this was a lot uh, more informative than any other activity she, <laughs> that she does so uh we really appreciate it man and uh, um for all of, not only you the people work on the background also that we don't see and i've heard about the videos i've heard about you I've heard about the kids it's, it's really great and i appreciate it thank you very much i hope we can pay you if there's anything we can help for <laughs> with other stuff and let us know we can contribute also thank you emma no no the trust me having sara uh, seen her grow seeing her succeed sharing that with her uh, brothers and sisters is just wonderful is amazing it's a reward by end of itself so thank you emma uh dani or mona yes oh mona no so you okay dani um hi mona david had hats off to you i mean they've all said it what needs to be said but you know you've been very inspirational and uh, the way you educate these kids the the materials that you present and the topics that you you know have with them is very engaging you know once in a while you know i hear some conversations and it happens to be like very informative in the way you engage them not only in terms of tigrinya uh, class in all spectrums like in the scopes of uh, their life including education what they've done last week and you know just the engagement itself is so educational and is so inspiring and uh, in fact we even use you as an inspiration like we say like if he can make it you can make it because he's sacrificing <laughs> you're learning from him so he should you know if he sacrifices his time and his you know uh, precious time i know i understand the weekend your weekends are almost gone your sunday is taken up like the whole afternoon is taken up you cannot even plan for anything else so i mean <clears throat> there's we we cannot thank you enough for having our kids uh, in your class and uh, giving them all this information and all these tools they they can use for the rest of their lives so we wanted to say thank you thank you thank you again thank you so much uh, dani uh, i will uh, end the recording uh stop recording uh